is Jerry Carvasse working today with Photoshop CS4. I'm going to work with the color matching system with, uh, in the image adjustment area within Photoshop. It's not an adjustment layer. It comes up under here, which I prefer to call as an embedded adjustment. So we're going to look at color match, and color matches are an easy system to work with. But what you need to do is to identify a selected area where you want the color to migrate to. So in this case here, I've got a selection loaded for the wall. So I'll go to Load Selection, the wall, and you can see that the area selected is everything but the shutters in this uh, Adobe wall here. And what I'd like to do is go over to this image here called Italy 1, and I have a selection active here and what I'd like to do is I'd like to kind of take this color and have this color presented over here so it matches. So what I'll do is I'll go to I'll move to the destination document first and then second step is to go to adjustments color match identify the source okay because you're using a selection at this point which is Italy 1 and notice what happens when I select Italy 1. It places the information into the destination of Italy 2. And it's great. It does a wonderful job. Now you can work with the luminance value a little bit if you need to see more of the building versus the... Uh, if, if there's no luminance it basically puts paint on the canvas and that's not something you want but normally the default works pretty well and if you need to make a slight adjustment you can do it right there you can play with the intensity and fade as well but the result is a match of the information associated with the selection and over here in our image of the Italy wall it does a really nice job of placing that information in that document great job